Hey guys, so in this video I'm just going to show you what you need to know if you're going on a princess cruise regarding their little medallion and also their app. We've just done a week on board the Discovery Princess, we went to Alaska and honestly we believe that these are the future of cruising. So we'll start off by talking about the medallion there. So this one's Stacy's, as you can see, and it's got our cruise on there, which one we did inside Alaska on the Discovery Princess and the date. So this is your new key card. This is your everything on board the ship. So this is how you'll get on and off the ship, how you'll get into your cabin, how you will buy, say, drinks if you want to go drinks package, or if you go into one of the shops and you want to buy something, this is what you'll use. You'll use this in the casino to gamble with. It's literally everything is this. Now it comes, they will give it to you with this lovely, lovely lanyard. Now, we thought this would get quite dirty, <laughs> actually as well, in the buffet, because it does hang quite low if you don't adjust it. It was dipping in the food a bit, so we thought we'd swap that, and we brought some little uh, Apple AirTag watch straps there. So uh, we got these off Amazon. I'll leave the link to the ones we brought. I think they were about eight pounds for two. I'm guessing it'd be roughly the same in dollars or euros or whatever. But yeah, any Apple AirTag accessories will work with the uh, medallion. So really simple if you just wanted to watch. Or you can buy them on board. They do like accessories there. They do like nice uh, uh, gold and silver bracelets. They do little pins, all different ones there. So if you didn't want to wear it on a fetching lanyard, you can just buy one of those. So similar to like a, an AirTag, or like, well, you know, one of any of the little location kind of geotag things, that's what this is. This is how it tracks you on the ship. Uh, your data is 100% safe, if you were a bit worried about that. So if you did lose it, nobody could hack your data, get your information. So that's a really good way of knowing that you're safe. You can also use this uh, on board the ship on the touch screens that are around everywhere. You just tap it on the little logo and it comes up. You know, you can do everything on here on the touch screens that you can do on your phone on the Princess Medallion Class app as well. So if you live in the United States, you can have this delivered to your house or um, everybody outside of the States, you have to pick this up on embarkation day as you embark the ship. They'll give it to you as they would do any other cruise with your key card. Now, as this does work in conjunction in a way with the app on your phone, don't worry, you don't have to pay for the paid internet access on the ship. It just, you connect to the free internet uh, and that's how it works. You don't have to connect this to your phone, so don't worry if, once again, you're not very tech savvy. It just knows this has got your cruise like information on it, and it knows once you log in on the app, that's how they kind of connect to each other, so don't worry. You haven't got, I can't find it on my Bluetooth. No, it's, it's pretty simple. I'll talk you through the app now. So I will start off with pre-boarding. So there's some things you have to do on, on the app, like fill in all your information, upload a photo, passport details, all those kinds of things. And if you haven't done that properly, you'll be put in the blue lane. Once you've filled in everything properly, you'll be in the green lane, you'll be given your QR code and your boarding group and time. Now, if you're just in the blue lane, that just means you have to go to the blue lane on embarkation day and they will fill in whatever missing details you've got. The green lane is just a speedier boarding, okay? So, you know, it doesn't mean you won't get on the ship. It's just a quicker process being in the green lane. And Princess is pretty much a paperless ship. That's the bonus of having the app. So uh, you don't need to print anything off other than your luggage tags, okay? If you don't print them off, they can print them off for you on embarkation, but it's a longer process. So if you don't have a, print, a printer, don't worry too much. You can print them off at home and save a bit more time. And then you've got like the my preferences part of the travel checklist. This is just things like dining and allergy options. If you want to tell them before you go on, if you've got a wheat allergy, uh, eggs, milk, there's loads of different options on there. Just saves a bit of time once you're on there. They'll, they'll know obviously because it's linked to your medallion, who you are and what allergies you've got. You've got the accessibility options as well. So these are things like if you're disabled, you know, do you need uh, handrails? Do you need bed rails to stop you falling out? Do you, are you blind? What level of blindness are you? I know there is a, I know that's a weird way to do it, but what level of blindness are you? Do you need uh, stuff printed in braille? Those kind of things. What? How do you want your bed made? Do you want a twin or do you want two singles? So that's all the options you can pick 
before you get on board as well. Then you've got the journey view part of the app. This is where you can look at everything that's going on on board the ship whilst you're on board. Shows, activities, entertainment, games, bingo, all those kind of things. And uh, what you can do as well, you can reserve I'm calling it reserve, but I'll explain why. You can reserve kind of these activities. Now, if it's more of a reminder, they, they say it's uh, a reservation, but it isn't. So if you reserve, say, a nighttime show in the Princess Theatre, you aren't guaranteed a seat. It's more of a reminder for you, oh, I've got this boot I want to do on this day. Oh, they've got bingo at six o'clock here. We can do that. So you can see on there my events page shows you all the things you've kind of booked before you've boarded the ship. You've also got the dine my way option. This is where you can book your main dining rooms or your specialty restaurants before you go on board. So there is options, different ones, whether some people like to eat at the same time in the same restaurant all the time, you can select this option. So you can select, I think they're every 20 minute slots or the main dining room options are. So if you know you want to eat at six o'clock, every day in the same restaurant, not 100% if it's the same table as we didn't do this option. It might be, you might be able to ask once on board, could we have this table? Cause you like the same table, the same waiter, you get to know each other and you know, you, it's just nice sometimes isn't it, to uh, they know what you like, they know, oh, they like a, this glass of wine and this beer every night. You know, some people like that kind of thing, but if you don't, you're more of a, a, a free spirit, shall we say. You can have the um, the option where you can select one or two or all of your dining room evening meals, but different times. So there was a day when it was Stacey's birthday on board, we pre-selected this day, um, and the time we worked it out around the port day. So we knew like, oh, we're in the port till five, let's book the table, say, 20 past, I think it was 20 past seven, something like that, gives us time to get back on, have showers, get ready. You know, so you could work different days around, or you don't have to do this. Like we knew in Juno, uh, the port day was 2 p.m. till 10 p.m. So we weren't going to be on board to eat in the main dining room. So we just didn't book one for that day. We knew because we were doing uh, the buffet video, we'd need a day for do the buffet. So we didn't book it that night either. So you can book as little or as many as you want. Or don't worry if you don't want to book any, you want to be a bit more of a free spirit when it comes to your dining, you can just go to the restaurant and you will, I think you get a buzzer or they'll say, okay, okay, five minutes, just wait in the queue. So there is that option as well. You don't have to pre-book. Don't worry if you don't want to pre-book your dining before you go on board. And then the specialty restaurants, you can book these on the app as well before you get on the ship if you want to. But if you do this, be warned, you do have to prepay for these. So that's a thing to keep in mind if you know, you're thinking, I'd like to try it, but I'm not 100% sure, then maybe wait until you get on board the ship if you don't want to pay for it before you go on board. Another little handy feature on the app before you go on board as well is the port guides. These are nice little pre-made files uh, Princess have done for you. They'll have a map of the port or the, the main place that you're visiting. So say, for instance, the Juno one, uh, it tells you the four cruise ports in the, uh, the city and uh, then it tells you a bit of information and some of the excursions about the city as well. So if you're not sure, uh, about the places where you're going, you just want to know a bit of information beforehand. These are handy little things to look at before you get on board as well. And then one other good little thing before you get on board the ship on the app as well is the compass. This just shows you the whole ship, each deck, each restaurant, each bar, all the things where the pools are, all those kind of things, jacuzzis, main theatre, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to familiarize yourself a little bit, if you want to see where the buffet is before you get on board, so you know, right, I need to go straight to deck 16 or whatever it is on your ship, that's where we're heading to. These kind of things, or like we did the sanctuary, uh, which was an amazing experience. We did a video on that, where you have to, if you want to be guaranteed, you're better off booking it as soon as you get on the ship. So we, we looked on the compass, it's like, right, so we need to go to this deck, it's at the front of the ship, that's the, so, it was good to familiarize ourselves with where we need to go. So it's a handy feature that is. And then now we'll move on to once you're on board the ship with the app. So it does kind of change the layout, it does a little bit. You'll see there at the top, there's the little kind of ship and it's on some water. As, as I screenshotted these uh, when we were on the ship, it was a sea day. So it's saying it's at sea, it tells you where temperatures and the weather and that kind of stuff like that. So it's a good little feature. You can't click on it, it doesn't bring you up extra details. It's just a little nice little icon in the top there. Once on board, you can book some excursions. It tells you the whole list, gives you prices, uh, shows you availability. Uh, now, just between me and you, 
when we did our excursion in Juno, we booked it with an external company, saved a lot of money. I know some people prefer to book it with the cruise company for that safety and that guarantee that the ship won't leave without you if you get stuck somewhere. But uh, yeah, it does show you the prices on here, so you could always compare with uh, another company if you have internet on board, kind of. Oh, it's a bit cheaper, we'll get it with them. Just another little tip there for you. You've got the travel companions part of the app there. Shows you exactly where everybody in your group is, or your party. Shows you exactly on the compass map where they are. It's a really good feature, I suppose, if you've got kids and you want to just keep an eye on and make sure they're in the kids club and they haven't snuck off and uh, spending all your money on, on the old... Uh, medallion there you can keep an eye on them or if you're wondering where your wife or husband are you can see if they're at one of the bars and you can go down and fetch them back now it's getting a bit late come on we've got an early morning you can also bring up your journey account there this shows you what money you've spent where you've spent it i know this bit i'm showing you now has got zero one but like i say that's because we filmed it uh, i screenshotted this at the start of the holiday once we were on board uh, but that does show you what you've spent, where you've spent it. I think it also shows you if you've got any onboard spends that they give you as part of a, you booking your, your holiday, your vacation. So that will show up on there as well. Now there is the shoreside transactions. Now this is only available in certain ports. I think it's a lot of the Caribbean and then uh, there's some places, I think we saw some places in Ketchikan in Alaska. You'll see the little um, sea witch icon I think it does say shoreside transactions in the shop. So if you spend something in those shops, you can tap with your medallion. It goes, it saves using a credit card or something. That goes on your onboard spends and you also get a 7% return in onboard spends credited to your account. You know, if you know you're gonna spend a lot of money in one of these shops, that's a good way of getting a little bit of extra money back as well. And I believe if you don't spend this 7% um, that gets credited, maybe you got a drinks package and you've prepaid for specialty restaurants. If you don't spend this 7%, that gets refunded to you as uh, a future cruise credit. So onto Ocean now, we believe this is the best function of the medallion and the app. This is where you can uh, go on the app and have food or drink or other things delivered to uh, your stateroom or wherever you are in the ship, excluding, I believe, the theatre and the toilet. So don't think, I'm sitting on the toilet, I fancy a bevy. They won't deliver one to you at the toilet and they won't deliver one to you in the theater either. But a lot of the other places, say you're in a bar, you're by the pool, uh, you're just in your cabin on your balcony. If you have a drink, uh, I will go through some of the drinks options on there, we'll show them now. Uh, there's all different drinks you can have. Teas, coffees, sodas, beers, cocktails, all different spirits. Then there's all the food that you can have delivered pizzas, burgers, hot dogs, fries or chips, depending where you're from, cakes, soups, salads, there's loads on there. These can all be delivered to you when um, they find you with your tag. It's a really good feature. One time they struggled to find us, we were kind of hiding in the in a booth. I think, I believe it was in the Salty Dog Grill. So they did struggle to find us, but they will always try to find you. So don't worry about that. And if they don't find you, you don't get charged. Well, we didn't. Whether that's because we had the soda package and we had some sodas delivered, uh, don't quote me on that if you don't have a drinks package. But obviously don't do it to be wasteful. Always trying to be where you are so they can find you and not waste the food or the drinks they prepared for you. Now the next part, I'm not sure if this is just to your stateroom because we didn't order any of these things, but you can have merch delivered or accessories for your medallion delivered. You could also have amenities for your room. I'm guessing they'd pretty much just be to your room. So like the merch, you could have any of the uh, the princess mugs and all different things like that. There was also some of the spa uh, creams and stuff you could have delivered. You could have accessories, say there was camera accessories, bits like that. You could have those delivered to you. Also, like I said, the amenities, extra towels, bathrobes, slippers, softeners, hangers, uh, detergents. Oh, there was a lot on that list. Most of them are free. I think you might have had to pay for the detergents. Although when we did go to the laundry to do a wash, they were in there for free. Whether that was because the machine was broke, I'm not sure, but just bear that in mind. You could always go and check first. And then once again, if you didn't pre-book your restaurants before you got on board, you can do that now as well. You can see what availability there is now. Our cruise was pretty full, so we couldn't, uh, I think after the first day, we kept looking 
and everything kind of got booked out. So like I said before, don't worry if you didn't book beforehand, you could just go down to the restaurant and maybe you just have to wait a little bit. But uh, yeah, you could book them. And also you could click on the dining rooms and it will show you the menus for the day. It will show you the breakfast menu. Normally in one long menu this is. It shows you the breakfast menu, the lunch menu and the dinner menu. So you could kind of look through because it changes every day and it's the same for each restaurant even though not every restaurant was open, but we explained that in the main dining room video if you want to know more about that. You could have a look at, oh, I don't really fancy what's on the menu for lunch today. Shall we go to Gigi's Pizza? You could, So you can plan your day out a little bit more. It's, it's handy information for, especially if you're a very picky eater. It's all good things to know to save you time once on board and enjoy your holiday even more. You could also view and purchase the photos, you know, the professional ones that they take around on the ships, say gala night, those kind of nights. Once you board the ship, they always have the, the backdrop ones. You can have purchase them if you want, you can view them. Well, that's a nice one, I don't really like those, so I won't waste me money. So there's the Ocean Compass. There is a few extra features once you are on board and you have your medallion to compare to before you got on the ship. It shows you where you are on the ship. So you could be like, right, so I'm in my cabin now, fancy a Gigi's Pizza. And you can click on Gigi's Pizza and it could show you the way to it. It gives you like, say it does on Google Maps, it will give you a little line and tell you which way to go. It's a good little feature if the ship's too big for you and you easily get lost. As I mentioned before, you could also locate your shipmates, anybody in your party. So that's like, it's like say again, handy feature know where your kids are those kind of things or if you want to if you went back to the room for a nap and you, you know your family or your friends are out there you can think oh they're at, they're at the uh, the salty dog grill i'll go to them and just walk to them there or the other thing that you can do is you can have the shipmate chat this is just a handy feature where you can chat to anybody in your party or you could add people who you've met on on board if you want to chat to those whilst you're on board there these are just handy little features uh, you don't have to purchase the internet you just use the ship's free Wi-Fi as you do for everything else. So don't think, I need to purchase the internet to do these features. No, you can just chat to people in your party, or like say friends you've met without purchasing the internet. So don't worry if you don't want to do that. And then finally, another really good little feature is the crew call chat. So uh, whilst we're on board, there was a transaction added that we weren't sure about. Use the crew call chat feature, saves going down to customer services and waiting in that queue. So it just, same as you do with a live chat, say for an online shop, you know, Amazon, them kind of things, or your bank, it just comes up, you are connected, and you start chatting to them, and it's just really simple, it saves like I say, because the queue at that customer services, especially on that last night, and the uh, disembarkation morning, it's always massive, so that's just that handy little feature, if you're like, can't remember buying that, crew call chat, you can do it by the pool, you can do it wherever you want, sit there, sunbathe, or as we were, sit there in hoodies and coats, freezing. Oh, what's this? Can you just help me? Oh yeah, blah, blah. Oh, I didn't buy that. Okay, we'll sort that out. As we did on our cruise, they sorted that out straight away. No miser, so it's another great little feature. And once again, the journey view, you know, you can, uh, stuff does change now and again. They might change a show in the main theater, add an extra activity on in the day. So once again, when you're on board, just flip through your journey view. You'll still have your events that you were uh, reserved before you got on the ship. You can just check again, be like, oh, they've added somebody else in the theater tomorrow night. They, oh, there's a, somebody's jumped on board and they're doing an extra talk, or they've got some extra games going on. So just double check through your journey view again and have a look what's been added to it or what's been taken off and, you know, so you can plan other things. It's just all these little things to save time on your holiday. <laughs> right, so that's pretty much it now. That's everything you need to pretty much know before you board and once on board the ship regarding the medallion and the app as well. We really, really enjoyed using both of these. Compared, the, this was the best app we've used on any cruise line we've been on. We really see this as the future now of cruising. It's so much easier. <laughs> Even if you just want to sit there and get a drink delivered, it's just great features to make your holiday so much easier. Now, don't worry, like I said before, if you haven't got a smartphone, don't worry about it, because so long as you've got your medallion, there's all the screens around the ship and the guest services people and the staff are so friendly. They'll help you with anything that you need helping with, so don't worry. But we've got loads of uh, Discovery Princess and Alaska content that have gone out before this video. So if you're interested, you want to see what the food's like, what the ship's like, the, anything, go back and watch those videos because they'll greatly help us out. So thank you very much for doing that. But if you've got any questions, don't hesitate, just leave us a comment down below and we'll try and help you out as much as we can. As always, 
hit that like button, hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Because why not? You're down there already leaving us a comment, aren't you? So as always, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!